Hello and welcome to Good Clean Gaming. I'm your host Shalindo and today we're playing some more Crusader Kings 2 and what do we got going on in the world? Quick world update. We got the Roman Empire which is just dominating everything right now. Umiyad is basically broken in so many pieces that they are no longer a true threat. Uh, the Azimids are fragmenting into the Abbasids and they're getting um, really tackled by the Ilkhanate and they are really suffering at this point. Uh, they are no longer a true, true threat, though they are probably our strongest threat remaining, other than, I think, Ilkhanate probably is stronger. Yes, the Ilkhanate is the strongest threat remaining on the map, besides the Roman Empire. Um, so we're going to start being more aggressive, I think, on attacking. We might as well just go nuts and start declaring war on everyone. Uh, we'll set that kind of stuff up after this is over, because we got to take care of this before we can start other wars. So yeah, let's do that. Go ahead and get this stuff moving. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Yes, I'll just send you over there. Go take out. That's the Sunni uprising that's causing so much trouble right now. We'll send them in. So, yeah, our war for Badajoz is going to be over soon. The, the holy war we're in against the Norse is going to be a victory soon. The Sunni uprising will be over. And then once that happens, once that happens, we are going to go... Crazy bonkers. Attacking everyone. At least that's my plan. I don't know if it's going to work out like that. My plan is to to really start taking a ton of land. Yes, I already got that Sunni Uprising taken care of. Nice. Banish. Go away. You can come back now. We may need to let our population regenerate somewhat. Our, our military gener uh, regenerate somewhat. But um, for the most part, I'm pretty much not even worried about attacking whoever I want in the game by now. Um, an old legal right, almost forgotten by all but the barons, called Prima Nocte, or <laughs> Droit du Signeur, is the subject of heated debate. The barons of Nikia claim it is their right to take the... <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. Um, let's see. No, we're going to say that's not legal, and I forbid it. And by the way, that's not even historically accurate. <laughs> that's a myth. That never happened. Um, I won't say that kind of thing never happened. I'll say that that, that was never a legal right or a law. A complete myth. Gain. We win. Yay. We won Bada Joes. Let me pause and go ahead and just... Um, wow, that's a lot of, a lot of stuff, isn't it? Let's go ahead and pause and just, you know, distribute that somewhat. Uh, hmm, France, Italy's kind of far away now. I'm trying to really, really get it down to only a couple real good kings that end up getting all the stuff. Frisian Revolt? Wow, Frisia is apparently having a little revolt on their hands. Interesting. Um, how do we distribute titles again? I forget. <laughs> uh, let's go to the king of... We go to the king that we want to distribute it to, and when we distribute it to them, that's what we do. Uh, let's go with Sicily. They're kind of far away. And we'll go ahead and go up to the king level. Grant one of those counties we just got, and everything underneath. And suddenly he loves us because we just gave him tons of stuff. And that's Sicily. Next we'll grab Pannonia. Are you over here? Yes, you are. Wallachia, are you over here? I don't see Wallachia. See Anatolia. No Wallachia. Let's go with Wallachia then. Uh, grab Wallachia over here. Grant one of these them thar counties. Next, we probably want to grab Armenia's over there, but they're kind of weak. I guess it would be smart to keep having pulling people over. We can always merge the kingdoms once it's you know convenient. So Armenia will get a, a get one of those counties. I can't give her one, can I? Because she's in jail. Hmm. Fine. Her husband's dead too. All right. Who else can I give this to? Aquitaine. Aquitaine could probably use it. Let's go with Aquitaine. Aquitaine. A Aquitaine. Aquitan. Aquitan. Someone tell me how to pronounce that, please. Um. Yep. And England and Frisia. Frisia's over here already. Pannonia, Aquitaine, Aquitaine, Aquitani. 
whatever. Bavaria. Bavaria has nothing over here. Probably doesn't need anything up here over here because he's kind of weak. Kind of, kind of weak. That'll be the last one, I think. Yes, perfect. All right. We're almost out of these wars. Are you going to surrender or are we going to have to come over there and bash you good? I think we're just going to wait for that uh, crusade to expire. Just drop all our troops. It'll give us some time to let our vassal, uh, vassal anger, <laughs> um, let that come down. Look at how good they, they uh, King of England and the uh, King of Scotland have done up here. They've taken basically, like half of this stuff was all their work. That is very impressive. And then Munster, obviously Munster needs to be taken. But they can do that, that's no problem. They'll get to it eventually. Uh, majority of the population of Coimbra has been converted. How is the religion stuff doing nowadays? We are pretty much 100% religiousized, aren't we? A local friar has petitioned you to donate your family relic to the church. After all, he says, it isn't right that one man should hold what belongs to all Christians. I can either donate it discreetly and become humble and get piety. Uh, I can either, I can have a grand ceremony and... Uh, get Temple Vassal Opinion and get some prestige or I can say nope and I defy the Holy Church. I, th I feel like that Holy Relic is, is nice to have on hand so I'm going to go ahead and say nope we're going to have that. Who are you to tell me what to do? I'm the Emperor. I'll tell you what to do and etc etc etc. So let's wait for that Vassal stuff to come down. Um, let's keep an eye on the the war percentage. I think if we look at this. Yep, there's like a bunch of 66.25% because we still control Frisia. So they're not going to get Frisia, and that's going to allow us to just win very slowly. After many months ca uh, studying the campaigns of Alexander the Great. Oh, we got this one again. Uh, you, you have acquired fascinating insights and gained new wisdom in military matters. You realize that the art of war might be worth studying. I'll get uh, Master of Strategy. That'll give us plus two martial plus one stewardship and 20 same trait opinion or I can say there are other things to life as well and I'll give me plus one and plus one for the rest of my life uh, let's go with the top one I like that strategist thing it's like I feel like we've been working towards that so might as well take it we are quite the military man at 32 hey and we're about the same same age as Alexander the Great but guess what our empire is bigger so I think his was just like, uh, what, from here all the way over to... He did have a big empire. He didn't get uh, India, but he got, like, all of Persia. Something like that, I think. And then stopped at this river. Is that how that worked? Can't remember. Something like that. We'll go with that. We'll pretend I, I know what I'm talking about, which it usually, well, frequently is not the case. But anyway. Uh, Poland, Poland, Poland. We're going to start taking these guys on really heavily in about 9% right down here. Why? Why did you have to have a peasant revolt now? Seriously. They're demanding independence? Well, I don't think so, sir. I'll give you independence when I'm good and ready. And that's never. France, can you help me out here? Oh, yes, you can. Yes, you can. How about somebody else? Yep, they can help out too. So we'll put some good generals in charge, wait for our morale to recover, and then smack them in the face. Oh, we can make the Duchy of Badajoz. Look at that. Go ahead and create that and give it away. Oh, another, another area converted. What else do we got here? Duchy of Lothian. We can create the Duchy of Lothian. I believe that's Scottish. We'll go ahead and give it to the Scottish king so, so we can, uh, he can have that. Or we can give it to the English king and then make the Scottish king really mad at him. Now let's give it to the Scottish king. That'll work out just fine. And Bada Joes will give to whoever I want down here. Give it to a Gandalf thingy. That's always a good chance. Uh, good, a good idea. Grant him Bada Joes. Yes. Good. Good, good, good. Eight more percent. Oh, not another one. 
Why? Why do you people do this to me? Where are you? Where are you complaining about? You're complaining up here? Yes. Great. Thank you. This is really helpful. My troops are supposed to be resting. You're not letting my troops rest. And for that, we're going to smack you in the face as well. Hope you're ready for a face smacking. Okay. Turned on the uh, music in the background, you may have noticed. Uh, Paradox has always been very gracious about their uh, music, so I figured, hey, why not? Usually I turn it off because it tends to be uh, a high percentage chance of getting a content ID match, which is just really a pain in the neck to deal with. But I... Uh, I trust Paradox. They don't. They don't do those kind of things. Rich merchants want to buy tithes, and the barons protest, saying their titles are. Oh, excuse me. Buy titles, not tithes. A very different thing there. Titles are priceless. Mere merchants should not be able to gain noble rights just because they can afford it. Uh, as long as I get paid, I could care less. Would get me a, some money and make a baron not like me. Yeah, let's just. I mean, either way, someone is not going to like me, so might as well get paid, right? That, that was like an old argument in the... Uh, I think I've probably talked about this before. Old argument in the Roman Empire, whether it should be money or birth. Should money rule or should birth rule? And there was actually a philosopher... I probably talked about this too. There's actually a philosopher that argued that you're either ruled by one or the other. You're either ruled by money or you're ruled by birth. No matter what government type you're under, no matter what you know you do, you're always ruled by one or the other. And you know, well, sometimes people will say, well, democracy... But then you then start to look at the you know realities of democracy and you start thinking about it and you start realizing, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Who are the people getting elected every time? Or is it is it people with no money? <laughs> or <laughs> just saying. Uh, so so that that guy that's that was that guy's point was that, you know, even if it's a democratic or a public kind of situation you ended up with people, uh, either people who were born into power or people who gained power by buying it, uh, no matter what, what government he saw. So, interesting stuff. Love some history. History is good. My wife has actually told me that the, uh, what, what was the thing she said? That, that historic, history is such a, so much better of a story than any other written story because... You just can't write this stuff. <laughs> it's like written written stories are very constructed. You can tell that they're stories, but um, history is like you, you have things happening just out of left field, and you're like, how in the world did that happen? That wasn't part of the story. It's just like a huge plot twist. That's history for you. That's, that's, that's how good the stories are. Um, enough about weird stuff. Let's... Let's call allies to this great war and get it over with already. Um, ooh, weak claims on Nord and Sweden. We can use this. Oh, perfect timing, perfect timing. Please get me out of... Please make sure there's no truce. I don't want a truce. I can claim Nord with this guy. And we will do that. But I really want to get out, get, be able to do the same thing with Sweden. By September... Sixth, it looks like I should be able to do this. That would be phenomenal. And if we got that, we would basically capture this and this. So we'd basically capture most of this um, area, Sweden and Norway. Or future Sweden and Norway, not current Sweden and Norway. Over Vassal Limit. Hey, wait a minute. We solved that problem a long time ago. What's the deal here? Uh, yes, you get educated. My daughter will be educated in the fine arts of um, spy mastery. Let's take a look at our vassals and see what's going on. Uh, got too many kings, I bet. Wish I could get rid of some of those kings. Duke of Tunis, Duke of Samos, Duke of... Duke of Aegean Islands, Duke of Thessalonica, Duke of Epirus. I am this close. You can't see my fingers, but they're very close together. I am this close 
to farming the Kingdom of Greece and giving it to whoever. <laughs> because it's causing problems. Um, here's Moray. Somewhere over here. I think it's this right here. We need to give that to someone. How about you? It's probably it's probably the people who are building it's Frisia. I'm just going to transfer them back under. If I can. It's not going to let me transfer them, is it? Well, that is just a pain. Where's Tarsus? Let's take a look at this one more time. The whole transfer vassal system... It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me sometimes. Yes, let's give that to Anatolia. Transfer to Anatolia. Between episodes, I will try to look for wants control of in the tooltip and see if I can find any of those. Um, cool. Let's go ahead and end this crusade because we just won. Holy War has ended. Emperor Goldhook of or the Roman Empire has won. The Great Holy War for Frisia fails. The Thunderer, it seems, does not favor the pagan faithful. After a string of defeats and setbacks, Philkir Vilfred III has called off the Great Holy War for Frisia against Emperor Goldhook of the Roman Empire. If your name is Goldhook, please let me know if I'm pronouncing that properly. Hmm. So we got those two. That is the one I want. I want both those. So I'm going to wait until September 6th. And we're going to declare war on the entire peninsula. We will take the whole thing in one go. Got to take so much attrition. It's not even funny. In honor of the Empire's recent victory, it would be appropriate to hold a triumph in the capital for the heroic soldiers who fought in the campaign. Such an arrangement will be expensive, but the people expect nothing less. A glorious triumph. 246 gold. It's a lot of gold. And 75 prestige comes my way. Phenomenal. A mighty triumph is held at the Hippodrome to celebrate the brave generals and soldiers who brought defeat to the enemies of the Empire. The people cheer as trumpeteers lead a long procession that includes parading soldiers, carts filled with the spoils of war, and cages holding captives from the recent campaign. The Empire is on the verge of success. Verge of success? What? We are on success. We are all over success. Success wishes it was the Roman Empire. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, hmm. We're waiting for September. That's what we're waiting for. We only have four people who really hate us right now because of the vassal limits. That's alright. That's okay. Kingdom of Norgon, please, please, please stay open. I want that window of opportunity to stay open. 49 days left, and then we'll be able to get in there. 43 days left. I'm like counting down the days. Can't wait, can't wait, yeah. Okay. How close is that war to being over? Norwegian revolt, Norwegian revolt, oh, war. That's 5%, that's 14%. We have time. A small spear throwing contest would be fun as well as helping you train for battle maybe you should arrange such a contest in the court um this makes me nervous because i don't want to get hit by a spear my throwing arm will amaze everyone or maybe another time um this can't end well but i'm going to do it because it's a new event that i haven't actually seen in this series so far please don't die please don't die please don't die after dozens of spears have flown through the sky one sole victor emerges from the competition no one threw further than lamico Leamico de Hirsaria. That's a mouthful. So I lost 5 prestige. Uh, Leamico gained 50. And I didn't get hit by a spear and die. Because of your strength and ability to beat a normal man down in a brawl, people from all around have begun to talk about you as someone you don't want to pick a fight with. Feels good to be organized. 100 prestige. Yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to pick a fight with the Emperor. That's probably a bad idea. Especially a fist fight. Ooh, hold on. Prince Franz the Apostle. What are you doing that I don't like about? Um, we're going to leave you alone because you're a Gandalf thingy. And you can do whatever you want. Corruption. Uh, are we done with that truce? Are we ready to go? I believe we are. Let's take a look here. He is in jail. I can declare war on him for Sweden using this claim. Her. 
I need to grant her something. Ah, I can't grant her a title because she's female. If I could grant her a title, we could get this to work. Why, oh why? Why, oh why? Oh well. I guess we'll just have to settle for Sweden. Sweden is the one? No, Norg. Norge. Nor Norgi? Norge. Norge? <laughs> Cannot understand how to pronounce some of these words. We need accent marks and pronunciation marks on everything. Prince Mouth of Norg is the other guy we can help uh, uh, use his help to get this going. We can give him. Grr. I want to get. I want to give him something, but I don't want to actually. Why don't we take away from this guy? <laughs> nah, he's a candle thingy. Uh, I'm gonna look around, see what I can seize from someone else, and I'll seize it and give it to that guy, and then we'll invade Norg in a in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching. Feel free to click the subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more videos like this. And remember, keep it clean.